the previous class we have seen uh, green's theorem now today we will see about uh, the stokes theorem so the state um, actually the statement of the theorem is whenever uh, s be an open surface bounded by a closed curve c and uh, Vector f is equal to f19 plus f2j plus f3k. Be any continuously differentiable vector point function, then integral over c f dot dr is equal to integral over s curl f dot n cap ds. So this is the statement of the Stokes theorem. So if s be an open surface bounded by a closed curve c. And uh, f is nothing but f19 plus f2j plus f3k. Uh, it is continuously differentiable vector point function. Then you have to verify that integral over c. f dot dr is equal to integral over surface curl f dot n cap into ds. So let us see a problem. You can also use this theorem, Stokes theorem, to evaluate the integral also. So we will see the application of the Stokes theorem. So using Stokes theorem, using Stokes theorem, evaluate integral over c x plus y dx plus 2x minus z into dy plus y plus z into dz where c is the boundary of where c is the boundary of the triangle with the vertices C is the boundary of the triangle with the vertices 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0 and 0, 0, 6. Okay. So the question is we are going to apply the Stokes theorem in order to evaluate the integral, integral over C x plus y dx plus 2x minus z dy plus y plus z into dz. So we know the Stokes theorem integral over the C curve C f dot dr is equal to integral over surface curl f dot n cap into ds. So instead of doing the line integral it will be easier if you evaluate over the surface. So here the surface is the triangle. So the triangular part is given. So actually So this is the origin and you can take on uh, this to be x axis and uh, this is the y axis it's at axis and you know the points are given x uh, x point is what 2 0 comma 0 so let us give this to be e and uh, y point is 0 3 0 so let us keep this as a b then the point z is 0, 0, 6. So let us keep this as to be C. Now if you join this, so you will be getting a triangle and you know that you can find the equation of the plane through ABC. So you know what is the equation of the plane through ABC? So the plane surface Actually, it meets the x-axis at the point 2 and y-axis at the point 3 and z-axis at the point uh, uh, 6. And therefore, um, the equation of plane, equation of the plane through A, B, C in this figure. So you know it is nothing but x by 
the point that means the coordinate of x axis is 2 so x by 2 y intercept is 3 and z intercept is 6 so it is equal to 1 or in the equation form if you take lcm and simplify you, you can write this as 3x plus 2y plus z is equal to 6 so this is the equation you can keep up and now let us find out um, actually instead of evaluating the single um, line integral i am going to evaluate uh, the surface integral so uh, surface integral is um, curl f dot n cap into ds so for that uh, first of all uh, i have to write what is f um, so given f is equal to uh, x plus uh, y actually the left hand side is it is nothing but f dot dr and finding the dot product you are getting this so therefore uh, what is the f the vector point function is x plus y i 2x minus z j plus y plus z into k this is vector f so the surface integral inside the integrand is you have to find out the curl f dot uh, curl f first of all let us find out the curl f okay because it is curl f dot em so let's let's uh, find first uh, curl f and then we'll proceed so curl f is nothing but del cross f so del cross f is what you can able to find the determinant so i j k i j k so i j k curl curl is what curl f is nothing but del cross f curl f or del cross f del is what do by do x j coefficient do by do y k do by do z and from where f you have to write what is the coefficient of x that is x plus y then coefficient of j 2x minus z coefficient of k y plus z so we have to find out the determinant of this while finding the determinant you will be getting the value after finding the determinant you will be getting 2y plus k okay so del cross f curl f is equal to 2y plus k and here you have to find out what is n cap so in order to find out the n cap here what is the surface it is given the plane surface so phi is okay so vector n normal vector n normal to the plane so that is del of the plane surface plane surface is what del phi okay phi is here plane surface also 3x plus 2y plus z minus 6 and finding the del of this you will be getting 3i plus uh, 2j plus k because you know what is del del is nothing but i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou is that term. so dou by dou x on d phi dou by dou y on this term dou by dou is that on and uh, finding the partial differentiation with respect to x y is that you will be getting 3i plus 2j plus k so now you have to find out unit vector normal to the surface so n cap n cap is equal to 3i plus 2j plus k divided by modulus n so that is the root of the coefficient of i 3 so 3 square and that is 9 plus 2 square 4 and the coefficient of k is 1 so 1 square 1 so on simplification you will be getting 1 by root 14 into 3i plus 2j plus k so this is our n cap now you know integral over c the given term is what x plus y dx and then plus 2x minus z into dy then plus y plus z into dz and this is equal to integral over c f dot dr and therefore this way this thing instead of finding the line integral i am going to find out the surface integral yes that is curl f dot n cap ds surface so surface is what it is equal to integral over the surface curl f is what 2i plus k and n cap is what 
n cap we got it root of 14 3i plus 2j plus k so you have to find out the dot product so surface into surface now one simplification finding the dot product 1 by root 14 is constant take that outside so do the dot product i dot i is 1 so you will be getting 6 and k dot k is 1 6 plus 1 then surface so it is equal to 7 so 7 by root of 14 and uh, it is integral over the surface ds now what is the surface here you know that surface is a triangular region so triangular region okay so we have already seen that it is a plane surface so you have to find out the area of a triangle abc integral over the surface ds is nothing but 7 by root 14 into area of a triangle abc so therefore you will be getting it is equal to 7 by root 14 into area of a triangle abc is 3 into root 14 and cancelling this root 14 you will be getting 21 okay so this is a way you can evaluate easily by using the stokes theorem okay in the next class we will see about the gas divergence theorem and uh, you can 